The synchronous tools in NX assist NC programmers in conditioning their parts to get ready for CAM work. Additionally, they help programmers respond quickly to design changes as needed. Using the part on the screen, we'll demonstrate several of these techniques. First, let's look at these three surfaces on the back of the part. Sometimes designers put extra surfaces in as they are trying to finish their work and we need to remove these surfaces in order to get back to a simple shape that we can machine. Let's just delete the extra face that's here in the middle. We'll use the delete face command from the synchronous toolbar, select the face, click apply, and it's removed. The remaining two surfaces are stitched to each other. So let's use that same technique to remove an entire feature. As I zoom in, you'll see there's a, there's a small chamfer here that we want to remove. I'll use the same command and select these three faces that make up this chamfer. And when I hit apply, you see that that chamfer's been removed from the part. Next, let's look at the boss here in the middle. You can see that a design error was made and the hole is not concentric to the rest of the part. Well, let's look at some of our other options here. One of them is make coaxial. I can then grab the hole in the middle and make it coaxial to the cylinder on the outside. And if you look quickly there, you can see the preview as that new hole position is created and uh, that change has now been made to the model. Next, let's look at this fillet. It looks like someone might have dropped the or cut off a face and this fillet is no longer tangent like it needs to be. Well, we've got a make tangent command where we can grab the fillet and then grab the face it needs to be tangent to and you can see, again using the preview, that it has correctly positioned that fillet and those faces are now tangent. Let's continue with a more complex move. I've shown you basic uh, move commands without dimensions, but we can, uh, in some cases, apply other types of constraints. So for instance, when I select the fillet, you'll see that it has a radius of 11. I'll make that a five millimeter fillet. And using that exact key in, I've changed my geometry. Next, let's move the face itself that it's attached to. I'll just select the face here. I'll call out for a distance move. A small arrow appears here. So if I want to move back a distance of 5 millimeters, I'll just type in negative 5. And you'll see through the preview on the screen that it's now moved those faces. <clears throat> What about when the, you've already done some programming work? Well, let's go look at a, a toolpath that's already been applied to this particular feature. Now, my situation is that this blue face must align with this yellow face, and it currently does not. But because I have some toolpath there, I want that to be associative. Here's how we take care of that. I'm going to use the replace face command. I'll select this face and replace it with this one. You can see the face being replaced and moving into position. Now let's go back and look at our toolpath again. You can see it here on the screen. It's clearly out of date. I just hit the regenerate button and now that toolpath is aligning correctly with the new position of the geometry. One of the surprising results of implementing synchronous technology is that sometimes your NC programmers are actually able to make changes more rapidly than the original designer was. Let's look now at a complex change involving these two walls. I'll go back to the move face command again. This time I'll set it to an angular rotation. And I'll pick these two faces. Now I'll specify my vector. And as I grab the little ball here, I can move this by hand or I can key in a number. And now you can see through the preview, we've rotated this by exactly five degrees. 
I'll hit the apply button and you see that change made permanent in my model. At Acuity we routinely teach NC programmers how to be productive in synchronous technology in less than a day. Let's wrap up by looking at a second file. These aren't te technically synchronous commands but sometimes in a model if you want to machine over a face like this where there's a hole you're going to want to patch that and we do have a patch openings command in NX that works very well for these situations. First I'll select the faces that need to be patched then I'll select the curves. It's just chaining its way around so I'll select these faces in these three areas click apply and you see that a patch that is tangent has been applied in all situations and it's correctly understood the surface matching conditions. Back to you Paul.